Okay, so let's add some audio to our project and begin sequencing it. To do that, I go File, Import, Audio. Note the shortcut, Shift, Command, I. I'm going to start using more shortcuts as it will improve my workflow and speed. The sound I'm going to choose is called Rattle Dirt Kick. Let's have a listen. Okay, it's a raspy kind of sound, but I'm going to convert it into a bass kind of blip kick sound. Let's open it, make a copy, and there it is. Double click with the selection tool, hit spacebar, and have another listen. Okay, let's change that sound somewhat. We'll go to Effect, Equalization, and I'm going to choose this curve. This is going to reduce or remove frequency content below around about 85 hertz and above 220 hertz. It's also going to add a bit more gain to around about 100 hertz. Let's click OK. Spacebar and listen. OK, it sounds pretty good. The only issue I have with it is there's a click, probably at the start and the end. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. We'll go View. Zoom in. Note that's Command 1. And Zoom out is actually also a useful shortcut, which is Command 3. Okay, I'll zoom in again. All right, let's fade in and fade out the beginning and end. Select that portion, go Effect, Fade Out. Select this portion, Effect, Fade In. Double click, Spacebar, have a listen. Okay, that sounds much better. Let's zoom out again. The next sequencing method I'm going to show you is essentially copy and paste. So with that selected, we'll go Edit, Copy, or Command C. I'll now move, I'll now move my cursor to the second bead. Now you'll notice when I click there, it forms a perfect yellow line, which means that it's snapping to that second bead. Now go Edit and Paste or Command V. I'll do the same down here at the third beat, paste or command V, and I'll do the same down here at the fourth beat, paste or command V. I'm actually also going to create another kick sound at the 14th, 16th note. Okay, now let's listen to this. To do that, I select my bar track, which selects all events, and I'm going to hit the play button holding down the shift key or I could hit space bar shift. You'll note that it brings up the looping symbol. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's save the project. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is give my kick beat a little bit more oomph and a little bit more belly. To do that, I select the track, Go Edit and Duplicate, or Command-D. That duplicates the entire track, including all of those events. I'm now going to process these events. I double-click on the first beat, go Effect, Change Speed, and I'm going to select the speed multiplier to be 0.5. Now what that's going to do is it's going to slow down the sound by half, which will double the speed and halve the pitch. Let's click OK. All right, let's have a listen by soloing that track. That'll turn off all the other tracks. Okay, I like the sound of that. Let's unsolo it and have a listen again. With the other sound combined, it sounds pretty good. Let's repeat that process with all the other events in the track. Double click, effect repeat speed change or command R. Command R. Now you'll note I'm going to run into a problem here because if I try and repeat the process there's not enough room for the clip to go into. So the first thing I need to do is delete this clip, select this one, repeat process. Now I'm going to perform a bit of an edit to get back that lower tone and the belly. If I click here you'll see that lines up with a 14th beat. I'm now going to perform a slice there. I go Edit, Clip Boundaries, Split, or Command-I, and it makes a little cut there. I can now delete the end. Let's have a listen. 
Okay, there's a click there I'm going to need to clean up, so I'll zoom in with Command 1. I'll select the end, I'll go Effect and Fade Out. Okay, double click. Okay, the click's gone. So, let's zoom out again. Now, what I'm going to do is grab a copy of this one by double clicking and selecting it and going Command C. Come down here, click on that, beat and paste. Alright, let's have a listen to the whole thing and make sure it's sounding okay. I select the bar track and I'll hit spacebar shift to loop. Okay. Sounding good. Let's save, file, save project. Okay, the final thing I want to do is I want to merge my kick beat into one track. This can be useful for mixing purposes, for processing, and also for sequencing if I just want to have a one bar clip that I simply duplicate. Again, it'll teach you some other processes and techniques as well. So to do this, I need to firstly perform a little trick. I'll select my bar track. I'm now going to go to generate and select silence. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create a one bar clip of silence or two seconds long. What this will allow me to do is when I merge my tracks is it'll ensure that they're all one bar long. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. Click OK and if I scroll down you'll see there's my silence track. Let's zoom some of these up a bit so they can all fit in the window by clicking and dragging the bottom of the track. Okay, so I'll now select all three tracks, go to Tracks, Mix and Render. And you'll see that they've all merged together into one track. And you'll also notice that that clip is one bar long or two seconds long. Let's rename the track and call it Kick. Have a listen.